Hello everyone, welcome back to another part of Hotline Miami 2. I'm sorry I hadn't had a part out in a while, I've been busy with some projects, but without further ado, let's get right back into it. So right, Evan. Body found yesterday, believed to be the fifth victim of the Miami Mutilator. So yeah, that's supposed to be Detective Pedro. Uh, good morning, honey. I didn't want to wake you. Took Jimmy to school, left you some breakfast. See you tonight. Love, Sharon. So Evan's been ignoring his family or neglecting his family for writing this book about Jacket in the, in the, in the events of the first game. But yeah, so this is his kid's house. Right. Bedroom, I mean. Hey, mister, spare some change? Uh, sure, here you go. Do I look like I want your dirty money? Excuse me? We barely have enough money for rent. Maybe you should stop trying to be a writer. We've got kids to feed. You need a real job, dear. This just isn't working. Sharon, what? What's going on here? I'll leave you. I'll take the kids and leave. You, you won't have to do that. This book. It's gonna be good, I promise. I just need some more time, okay? Time is the one thing you don't have. Maybe you should reconsider your... Maybe you should reconsider your priorities. What are you saying? I said I don't want your stinking money. Oh, you saw on the right, there was the 50 Blessings logo. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm already dead. Oh, shit! Oh, you fucker. Oh god. Oh god. Shoot, okay. Um. Come here, come here. I gotta beat them with my hands. There we go, can you actually use guns? Is that it? Damn it, I just shot straight through him. Oh my god. <laughs> this is our turf now, boys. Let's tear it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck him out. Thank <laughs> you. 
What else? Who, where am I? Did I get the tag? No shit, he's still alive. Where is he? Oh shit, alright. Fucking C, damn it. I'm sorry I couldn't get the door for you. My legs aren't what they used to be, or like they used to be. You're that writer that I called earlier, right? That's right, ma'am. I was hoping you could tell me a bit about your son. He was the sweetest child. I... I don't know what got mixed up in that mess. I'm sure it must have come as a shock to you. Yes, well, I noticed that he was behaving differently. He was always a bit of a loner, you see. Suddenly, he was going out to meet old friends. I never knew he had any. I didn't think uh, much of it. A man that age shouldn't be alone all the, all the time. I always felt I was holding him back, and that he was taking care of me, you see. Did he tell you anything about what happened? I only visited him a couple of times when he was in prison. He wouldn't tell me a thing about it. Said it was better off if I didn't know. Do you know any ideas what happened to him after he made his escape? Has he been in contact with you? I, well, I can't really talk about it that now, can I? Look, I just need, I would just really would like for you to talk to him. Well, if he does call, I can maybe give you his number. That way he can decide for himself if he'd like to talk to you or not. That sounds more than fair to me. Thank you. While I'm here, I'd like to ask you if it's okay for me to look around. Oh, please do. My son's room is upstairs on the left. I've kept it. I've, I've kept it just the way he left it. Is it this? No. What the hell is that thing? March 10th, March 16th. What is that? Alright, I guess that's it. Okay, we're back in Hawaii. I've been thinking. Oh yeah? Thinking about what? When I get back home, I think I want to open up a bar. Well, you do like drinking. Hey, I'm being serious. You think it would be a, it's a bad idea? I used to work as a bartender. Well, what are you going to do when I get back home? Or what are you going to do? I'm a teacher, remember? I have a job when I get back. I'm sure you'd make a great bar owner though, Barnes. Who wouldn't want to have a psychopathic drunk as their boss? Yeah, yeah, fuck you too, dude. How about you, Lieutenant? Got any plans? Hmm, I'm not so sure. The bar sounds nice. Anything here I want... Anything where I don't have to carry a gun and shoot people. Maybe I'll find a little convenience store or something. Put a little TV next to the register and just sit there all day, relaxing. Sounds like you've got it all planned out. I try not to think about it too much. Things never turn out the way you expect them to. Anyway, I'm gonna see what's keeping up the colonel. We were supposed to move out. At, we were supposed to move out at dawn, but the sun's been up for an hour now. Yeah, that's Jack sitting by the beach. But you see how he said uh, he was mentioning the convenience store. Lieutenant, I just received good news. Looks like I might be promoted. They're considering me for a lieutenant general. You don't look too happy about it, sir. Something troubling you? No. Can't you see I'm celebrating? Why wouldn't I want to be lieutenant general? Hell, besides being the fact that we're gonna lose this war. On a more positive note, you and the boys are being sent back home soon. 
unfortunately, we've got one more mission to before that. The one, the one you briefed us last night, sir? That's the one. That's the one, changing, charging the end. That's the one, charging the enemy camp with four soldiers. Good thing you're an elite unit, huh? Or hey? What a piece of shit mission. Nothing good about it, son. You boys stay frosty this time. Don't get yourselves killed for nothing, you hear? Yes, sir. Well, alright then. Godspeed. Okay. Oh, fuck. We got it. Oh my god. Dan here. I'm done cleaning out the suites upstairs. Have any, have any new guests arrived? This is Mike. I'm outside greeting the VIPs. Alright, I'll come down and collect their luggage. Outstanding work there, soldier. Thank you, sir. I wish my men were as well trained and capable as you. We've been trying to seize this enemy camp for weeks. Suffered some heavy casualties. Well, I'm glad we can put this all behind us now. Yes, sir. Why don't you get back there, get it back up to camp and get yourself some rest? Gotta round up my men. My company and I will join you later. Understood, sir. So yeah, that guy who we were just talking to, I believe he's like the captain of the... Like the... Um, 
company that the fanatic fanatics were in. B. Oh man. Sniper rifle. I don't think that's really good. I can't remember. We're going home after this. That's what the colonel said. I guess that's good. For, that's a good cause for celebration. Damn straight. We should see if there's if the commies left anything for us to drink. This heat is killing me. I couldn't mind a drink myself. When do you think the colonel will get here? I'm sure he's got a bottle or two stashed away somewhere. Might be a while. The roads around here are pretty rough. We should probably settle for some water for now and catch up on some sleep. I'll feel a lot safer when we when D Company arrives. Didn't you hear? Those guys are pussies. We're better off without them. We took down this place on our own, didn't we? Why do we need them for, huh? I guess you're right, Barnes. But I guess you're right, Barnes. But there's always safety in numbers. I'm gonna lie down for a while. I didn't get much sleep last night. Wake me up when the colonel gets here, okay? June 3rd, 1989. This is Mary from Daycare Center on Northwest 159th Street. We're having some... We are, we're having present... We're having parent-teacher meetings tonight at 7. Northwest 159th Street, got it. I'll be there at 7. Discreet. Hello? Where'd you go? Hmm. Oh damn, you got a lifted Dodge Ram pickup truck. Now we're talking. Why, hello there. We're just about to close up here. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm a member. Is that so? I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for your support. Look, I've got this plan. I know it sounds a little crazy, but I think about it. Just think about it for a while, okay? I think there might be something big here. All right, let's hear the plan of yours. Just make it quick. I really need to be on my way. All right, so I'm getting these strange phone calls. Strange phone calls? I wouldn't know anything about that. Look, just hear me out, okay? I, like I was saying, these phone calls are telling me to do stuff. They sound like they're some kind of misplaced calls, but they're not. And if you don't do what the, as they say, well, let's say you don't want to disobey them. They mean, bu they mean business, if you know what I mean. I see. And what do you think of these? I think of this has to do with our organization. I don't know, I was thinking, what if we set up a similar operation except, like, go after the Russians, free America of our oppressors, you know? I mean, you have all these members and all the resources, how many of us military experience? We'd wipe them out. We could start a civil movement, free ourselves. I'm not sure I'd follow. We're a peaceful organization. We'd never force anyone to do, to do something they don't want to. I'm not so sure what you're accusing us of. Man, you're not listening. I'm not accusing you of any- Oh, I get it. You're the ones. It all makes sense now. Ha. Huh. I can't believe I didn't figure it out sooner. My god. And here I was thinking I had the, this great- Oh man. Look here, sir. We're close, okay? If you don't mind, I really would like, to, like for you to leave now. I can't talk about it here, eh? Gotcha. Don't worry, I'll keep it- I'll keep your secret safe. You can count on me, brother. We're, we're both patriots, right? I'll just go on now. I have something important to do. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, this is 50 blessings, and... As it's an, you'll actually come back here back in, I think, 1980 or 1991. But it won't look as nice, if you know what I mean. Dead. Hey, 
my nail gun. This is great because it's. Whoa! It's stealth, so they don't hear nothing. Oh, I'm gonna keep it, honestly. Whoa! Oh, you fucker! Whoa! I fucking threw out the last minute. I'm just gonna try freeing that. Whoa, shut that door. This thing's like a, f a laser gun, dude. Oh! Damn! Is there any new guns? Alright, automatic. Alright, I like it. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. C minus. He's not gonna talk, is he? Doesn't look- doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. Got any last words, asshole? Nope. So... What I'm gonna do now is I wanna show you what happens when you actually complete the level. This is where I can't die. Oh, they're all just- it, it's meant to be like really hard. I'm not gonna jinx it. We're just gonna have an assault rifle. Oh, we got it. That was very difficult. Oh good, you're all right. Look, we need to have a talk. There's a safe place not far from here. How about I take you there? Yeah man, lead the way. I'm here to serve. I think I can be a real use of your organization, sir. I have to say, I'm... We have to get out of here now. The cops will be here any minute. Oh, you're right. You're right about that, sir. Let's go. All right, looks like you're gonna be a... All right, looks like this is gonna be a long night. How about I get us some coffee? Sounds good to me, sir. When you get back, I've got some ideas I'd like to share with you. I've been thinking long and hard about all of this. I'm... I'll be right back, okay? Got a pot of coffee in the other room. What's, what's with the guns, sir? Are they after us? Just a little precaution. Yeah, so he dies either way. So yeah, now Evan's, ins ins now Evan's inspecting the clothes that was on the guy at the time. 
So, did you find anything? Well, no. Nothing substantial, at least. See, I told you so. So now we're good. We're so we're good now, right? No more favors. Yeah, yeah. No more favors. I'm sorry, I couldn't be more help, buddy. Yeah, me too. Oh, we're back in Hawaii. So tomorrow's our last mission, huh? Yeah. If they can't find another bullshit reason to get us killed. For once, I agree with you, Barnes. Why are we always? Why are you always picking on me? We're in this shit together, right? As for tomorrow, I didn't get it. I really don't. How the hell are, are four of us gonna capture a power plant, huh? They should be sending a whole platoon. This place is likely booby trapped. Too risky for a whole platoon. I guess we're more expendable. Do you see this? Can you see my face? This is my true nature. You see it, don't you? This is who I am. This is who we all are. We're animals. There's no denying it. A bunch of goddamn animals. They're sent us out to slaughter or be slaughtered. And, he and here we sit until they tell us what to do and I'm and how to do it. And here, here we sit until they tell us what to do and how to do it. No will of our own, just mind, mindless obedience. We don't even know why they're why we're fighting now, do we? All we know is that deep down somewhere in here, we'll enjoy it. Destruction, destruction and violence. It's just part of our nature. Sir, are you okay? I. I may have a bit too much to drink. Being a little bit tired. Maybe I better go to bed. That might be a good idea, sir. I wonder what kind of fucked up shit he's been drinking. But you saw in his office, he had the panther in there. Lieutenant? Yes, sir. I don't feel very good today. A bit much to drink yesterday? That's got nothing to do with it, unfortunately. I've got word that they're sending you boys home tomorrow. Lord knows whether they're lying or not, but that's not the issue. I'm afraid that this night will be your last mission, son. And they'll be sending you home in body, bag in body bags. You've seen the plans, you should know. We'll be walking right into a trap, and there's little I can do about that. I've already said this to others, and I'll say it to you too. It's been damn good commanding this squad, Lieutenant. We may not win this war, but I couldn't be more proud of you boys. Thank you, sir. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Hmm. Fuck it, I'll try the sniper. Probably won't like it, though. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. No! Damn it. I meant to be going melee. I gotta conserve my ammo. Oh! Switch to. Damn. It takes a while to switch to your. Knife. Oh, this is a long mission. Uh, I'll I'll st soldier on, but I really should have stuck with the LMG. You motherfucker.
Oh my god, come on, where was he? Can't go on the sides, and I missed two. All right, that's good to know. Actually, I can go. Yeah, I can go that way. Oh, I got him for sure. Oh, come on, you bastard! Oh. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna run. Oh god, that's the fat guy. Okay, uh let's just snipe the fat guy first. Honestly, fuck it. Okay, he stops. I didn't know that. Oh, I opened the door. Whoops. Whoa. Oh my god. Fuck that. I'm going fucking in. Yeah. Fuck.
Oh, come on. This game fucking sucks. Whoa. Is that it? Nope, there's one more. Okay, it's just a machete guy. I can deal with machete guys. Any day of the week. Come on. Come on. Look at me. That fast. Oh, that's all glass. No, I'm fucked. Yeah. Knife. Alright. Oh, God. This is just pure glass panes. I used 100% of my brain here. Just calculate where they're gonna deep out through the glass. No way that is it. I mean, there's a part in this mission where you have to run through a tunnel. And it's like super hard. Looks like their boss totally lost it. No point going in there now, is, there, is it? Guys, I think we better get out of here. Yeah, that, this ain't good. Oh, fuck. Shit, I'm in dead end. My name is Ben Smith. My car's broken down on me. I need a... I... Can you repeat that over? My name is... Fuck it. Look, we need an evac here. I'm at 19.42 north, 155.28 west. And step on it. He's bleeding out. Hang in there, buddy. We'll be here. We'll be out of here real soon. No need to thank me, kid. It's on the house. You would do this. You would have done the same for me, right? I think I'm here. I think I can hear the chopper coming now. Maybe we should talk about this soon. Maybe you should take this so you don't forget who saved your ass. Maybe you should take this so you don't forget who saved your ass. Oh man, C minus. That was very difficult for me, but we did it. Okay, we're in Sa San Francisco. Oh boy. Sorry to hear about that. Things, things like that are never easy. Well, yeah. You know, you know what they say. Time heals all wounds. You know what they say. Time heals all wounds. Right? So, you remember that photo we talked about from Hawaii? Did you ever get around to sending a copy of it? Right. 
Well, whenever you get a chance, man. Look, there seems to be something going on outside my shop. I'm gonna have a look, okay? Alright, talk to you later. Bye. Say, so, yeah, he's talking to Jacket, but... So, he did eventually open up his own convenience store. And, well... Yeah, it didn't last long, unfortunately. So, yeah, the Russians launched nukes in San Francisco. I don't know if it was the whole, all California or just San Francisco, but the Russians, once they won the war in Hawaii, they nuked the states, or San Francisco, in the U.S. So that's why the mass killings are happening, is because there's a bunch of Russian mobsters that are moving into the states, so they're trying to seek their revenge. But anyways, guys, hope you liked this part. If you did, drop a like, and hope to see you guys around.